Hello, welcome back. This is part 2 session and if you haven't, please refer link in description for part 1. I am Kumar and welcome to my channel on tech and tutorials. The next point to look into is what skill set you need to have to start a career in QA testing or software testing. Well, I see this is one of the most important part of this discussion. All the info is fine and good, but then unless we have the skill set to crack that job or crack that interview, everything else doesn't make sense. So to start with, I would say the old adage holds good here to try to be a jack of all trades or all areas and be a master of one of the areas now you know companies or corporates need corporates need multi-skilled peoples it sounds actually challenging at first and people tend to lose focus initially but believe me it's it's actually more helpful and interesting once you break that initial challenge or initial things so i list down some high level topics you can go ahead and google it or let me know in comment section if you would need video on that okay first thing if we are preparing to start a career in QA is you should start learning the QA testing concepts. So I'll note it down here, QA testing concepts. So basically what involves in QA testing concepts is you just need to read. So what you need to do is you need to learn some of the QA testing concepts. For example, what is software development lifecycle or what are the steps, stages involved in software development lifecycle or what is software test life cycle so sdlc which means software development life cycle and for testing we have stlc software test life cycle both are different you can google it and you will you should be able to get a lot of information on this thing these are these are pretty basic things which anybody who wants to go get into a software career should should know all these concepts and then what are what are the types of tests that you should be knowing so for example what is a smoke test what is a sanity test what is a regression test and all those things those are pretty simple and easy to learn and you once or twice if you read through them you should be able to master them pretty easily and you should have those concepts in on top of your head whenever somebody asks you what is regression testing you should be able to explain it to them what actually involves in the regression testing so the people might not ask you directly what is regression testing but then you need to know whenever there is some discussion so for example if you in an interview they will ask you what do you you test in your regression test cycle or do you have a regression test cycle in that case if you don't know what is regression testing you might be in a soup and then other important testing concepts like what is bugs reporting so whenever a test engineer finds a bug you need to report that bug so what is bug reporting about what is status what is severity of a bug all those testing concepts you need to be aware of before trying to go into any software testing career okay the next point which we should be aware of nowadays is the concepts of agile this is actually the process that follows within a team nowadays agile scrum kanban you might or might not get a question whenever you attend an interview on these things but then it's good to have this knowledge because most of the teams or most of the organizations now follow agile or scrum or kanban method and you can actually if you are really interested you can actually go ahead and take a certification like csm for agile or scrum so the next point is actually more important so the next point is about the automation skills so if you plan to go with automation testing which nowadays most people tend to learn or most of the jobs in testing world are available is the automation skills you need to have a really good knowledge of any programming language or you need to have the coding skills so what i would suggest is you can start with python which is like one of the easiest and one of the most popular nowadays under pythons there are a lot of modules like pytest robot framework which you might need to learn or you might need to try out uh, some of these frameworks in order to get a job as a automation engineer or software development engineer in test that's what they call nowadays you know within an organization the automation engineers also you need to learn some of these tools like jira for example jira is used as a bug tracking tool and also can be used as a test case writing tool you know i am talking about all these tools and libraries or or software coding skills these are all open source and these are all easily available and you can sign in and you, you can get your own account in these tools and technologies so for example jira is part of atlassian suite and then you can go to atlassian website and you can you can sign up and then you can get a jira console access to try out and how it is being used within an organization how bug tracking tools work what are the stages in the bug all these things you can learn 
learn it for yourself this is not a very tough skill or tool to learn you can just whenever you have time so all these tools are free and you know learning should be free for all okay so to complete let me just add here tool like jira there are a lot of other tools but then so i'm trying to just put here the main tools or technologies that you should try to explore and get some idea on those so the next point here is you can also learn some other os operating system other than windows like for example linux you can use virtual box to install ubuntu in your machine and then how to learn it you can you can set up a server like for example an apache server and you can you can install that apache server and make it working within your in your virtual box work you know working on linux is really interesting you feel like you are doing some kind of technical work instead of just uh, using your mouse or the cursor to traverse through file system when you are working on a windows uh, system on a linux machine you have to type commands to do all the things so it's very really interesting and if you know if you are able to at the minimum if you are able to install and do some work in that linux operating system you can just put it in your resume that you have linux skills and you have at least one plus one more skill to show of the interviewer next is you can have some database skills like uh, oracle or mysql so so that you, you are able to tell that you know some SQL, SQL queries and again this you can put it in your profile. So the more skills you have you have and more more knowledge you have you will be more saleable. So SQL queries and all are not very tough to learn and it's like quite easy to understand and work with. So there are a lot of samples out there over the internet and you can install your own you can install your own database like MySQL server in any Windows machine and you can use a you can use a DB client to connect to that MySQL server and you can start learning it so i'll just put down here sql queries okay so knowing all these things to start with if you are a fresher or if you are having one or two years or up say for example three four years all these skill set whatever i have mentioned ever if you are able to learn all these things or have a fair amount of knowledge at least to answer some of the questions on them you are really good enough to get a job i can say you will surely get a job if you are able to learn all these points whatever is mentioned the main important thing here or the most time taking skill here would be the automation skill or the programming skill here other all the other things here whatever i have mentioned this are other than automation skills can be learned or can be done in your spare time you don't need to set a specific time for learning all the other things or rather it would take a less amount of time compared to your automation skills okay so let's move ahead and see what are the other skill set which are in demand or which are in use nowadays within an organization and which will surely give you a plus point on your profile or in your career so the next point is ci cd which is actually quite in demand nowadays to start with in ci cd you can at least learn two things couple of tools or couple of technologies so one of them is called jenkins and the other one is called git so jenkins is the ci cd server it's again open source and even git is also of open source both of them are open source and free you can install it in your machine and learn it git is basically a set of commands which it's a set of commands which you use to version your code base or your automation code jenkins is the ci cd server which you can install it in your machine or any machine windows linux or any machine any other machine you can install it and learn about it it's also not very tough rather easy compared to your automation or the coding skills the next good thing to know here would be some of the testing tools like uh, for example api testing tools i would say you can start with postman learn about api testing you can, you can learn postman or soap ui this is also both of them are available freely as open source and you can use them to learn about api testing so as i said earlier all of these above things that i told are easy and freely available apart from the automations automation or coding skills and there are a huge amount of resources available online for you to learn and try out all these skill set finally one of the most important thing which you would need is the communication skills so you should be able to present your views or ideas properly else everything else does not matter if you are not able to explain or if you are not able to communicate properly what you know it may be that you don't know that thing also that would also be fine but you should be able to show an intent that you are ready to learn whenever you go to an interview you should be able to present your ideas properly and you should be able to express your intent that if you don't know any skill set which is okay you should have that ability to tell them that you are okay to learn new skill set 
or new tools or technologies so how to how to practice your communication skill so let me note it down here so if you are really weak in communication skill so how do you practice it try to i would say try to speak in english at every opportunity that you get so for example when when i was in college one of my friends actually was weak in english so he cannot talk with us cause uh, we will not reply him or we'll actually try to pull his leg so he came up with this thought that he can actually sharpen his english speaking skills by talking to phone customer care guys so in that case no one will be judging him there or not not actually laughing at him he can improve his english skills by talking with them i'm not saying you should use this same but you can also try other such ideas okay so the next point would be is there still a scope for manual testing i would say yes and i would say no also we still have a lot of people in organizations or in the team where they are actually doing a manual testing but again here the same organization will not hire someone from outside who can do only manual testing you need to have other skill set to complement that like you need to know a lot of other tools and technologies or some specialized knowledge in a particular domain for example modem testing or you are having very good database skills for example or you and you have cleared a dba oracle dba course or you have experience working in some new types of database like cassandra or mongodb or you have good networking skills for example you have taken a certification in ccna or things like that so basically if you are doing only manual testing trying to manually test that software in ui application then you you may not get a job out there in the market so you need to have some skills so for example if you don't have any automation skills and you are trying to get a job for qa testing you might get a job till you are like 3 or 4 years experience but after that people will start ask asking you or the your team itself will start asking you oh, why don't you do automation because this will save you a lot of time so automation skill automation skill is required not only for you to get a job but to make your job wherever you are working as a manual testing also now if you are working to make your job faster and more easier so without automation skills you would need to learn a lot of other other tools and technologies for example you need to have a very good knowledge if you are planning to go into uh, api testing for example you need to have a very good knowledge of postman and then if you are able to do ci cd if you plan to move to ci cd or related domain you, you need to know jenkins in and out you need to know what is git and other tools in ci cd environment so so i would say yeah scope is there for manual testing but it's very limited and very less number of jobs would be available for a manual testing for a simple manual testing type of job so the next question would be is there still a career in qa or do we still see a lot of jobs in qa engineering so the, for that let us go to linkedin which is one of the most popular nowadays for for jobs and let us go to linkedin india and let's try to do a search for job so here let us search for test engineer testing engineer and if you see here here there are approximately 9000 plus jobs available in bangalore only and 399 new jobs were posted within within the last 24 hours so i would say there are jobs and you, you can see some of these jobs where they have advertised with manual test engineers and all but uh, those would be really for less than 4 or 3 years of experience so there are jobs out there in the market but then if you compare this with a software with a software engineer there are around 17000 plus jobs in here so there are less jobs for software testing compared to software engineer which is actually the expected of course there's more companies need people who develop softwares rather than software testing engineers but uh, but yes there are software qa engineering jobs available out there still in the market and then let us do one more search for automation automation engineer and let's see here now you see the number here there are around 13000 plus jobs for automation engineers which is more than a test engineer if you search as a test engineer 
we were getting for manual testing engineers as well but if you're searching for automation engineer you see a lot of more jobs available out there for automation engineers who can actually code or write automation scripts to test their software so that's what so basically the best idea would be to learn some coding skills like python which is easy to learn and start to search job okay so to summarize so we have looked into what software testing is about so we have learned about what is software testing we have seen uh, software testing is about finding bugs or defects and what is the purpose of software testing to measure the quality and the reliability of the software product and we have looked into why companies need QA engineers because softwares have faults and issues which needs to be uncovered before it is delivered to the customer we have talked about what are the types of software testing which is classified into functional testing and non-functional testing and under that there are a lot of there are a lot of other types of testing which is being used in a software testing team and what are the skill set you need to start a career in QA so you need to know some of the software testing concepts and automation or the coding skills and some tools you need to learn in there and then we have looked into is there still scope for manual testing as I said, yes, there is still scope for software manual testing, but it is very limited and it's going to go off really soon. So best thing would be to learn some automation skills or some tools out there and better prepared for a software testing job. And then finally, we have looked into is there still a career out there for QA engineers? And we have seen that, yes, there are a lot of jobs available out there, but then, but then most of the jobs are for the automation engineers or the engineers who can write code to test their software finally there are other topics like how to get those skills when and how to start looking for jobs and all let me know in the comment section if you would like to have a video on that for now thank you so much that's all in this video i hope it was helpful to you thanks a lot for watching and please do leave a comment below about this video thank you